Hi, I'm Catherine O'Rourke. I'm director of the Transitional Justice Institute and I wanted to share with you quickly just some reasons why you might want to consider your master's study here with us at the TJI at Ulster University. The TJI has been around since 2003 where we've been leading study and research and teaching on issues of gender, conflict, human rights and transitional justice. And a key part of what we do is our two LLM programs, our two master's programs, one in human rights law and transitional justice and the other in gender conflict and human rights. The programs are either one year full time or two and a half years part time. All of the teaching happens on Thursdays and Fridays and we supplement the teaching by really exciting and dynamic program of extracurricular activities particularly built around our seminar series, guest speakers, and interaction with community organizations. Obviously studying issues like gender conflict, human rights, transitional justice here in Northern Ireland, uh, these aren't just academic issues. These are very much issues that we deal with day and daily in our politics and in our life. And the Transitional Justice Institute's really engaged with those debates uh, and developments, very important in informing many of them. And our students and our teaching reflect that also. So we have lots of students who come from community organizations who are working on issues of gender conflict, human rights, transitional justice. And many of our students who study our programs go on to work in those organizations and also with statutory organizations and the government uh, on dealing with these issues. So one of the key advantages really of studying with us at TJI is that you get to not only experience and learn about the theoretical issues and the scholarly issues, but you also get to experience it very much in practice and have an input into practice and learn from practice. In addition, our programs are taught by really leading voices in uh, their areas. We have several of the most important scholars on issues of conflict, transitional justice, human rights, gender, um, are working at the TJI and they will be the ones teaching you um, in your program. So indeed, they will have written the book um, in the courses that you're studying, whether it be human rights, conflict, gender, transitional justice, um, across really the full range of those issues. Uh, you'll be taught by the leading edge experts in the field and those leading edge experts will be bringing their experience and their expertise to the teaching. Many are working directly with the United Nations, working with different national governments, working with different civil society organizations and all of that expertise and experience contributes to a really lively and dynamic and exciting and interesting uh, teaching environment. Our success in our research is evidenced by the UK's uh, ranking exercise where our research is evaluated uh, for public funding every number of years. Law at Ulster, led by TJI, has been hugely successful in that exercise. As you see, we came, we came fourth in the UK um, for our research in the most recent exercise. Uh, and not only fourth in the UK, but in fact, first when it came to the question of how impactful research was outside of the academy. So to what extent is our research actually influencing and impacting practice in questions of transitional justice, conflict and gender? Uh, well, according to the most recent assessment, uh, our research beat all others um, in terms of law in the UK, uh, in terms of kind of practical relevance and application and impact on policy issues. Um, and that's very much the ethos that informs our teaching. If you study at the TJI, you will benefit from uh, what is a very collegial, collaborative learning environment. Uh, as you, in the slide, you can see our teaching, our main teaching room. Uh, you'll see that it's set up in a, a team working, uh, collaborative seminar experience where we don't use large lecture halls. Uh, we rely really on learning as much from our students and from each other as we do from our instructors and it's a lively teaching environment that really does bring out the best in students and allows students to maximize what they're learning 
um, in any class. In practical terms, uh, we do bunch the teaching. So we have uh, some modules are taught on a fortnightly basis. So you'll have a full day teaching every every alternate Thursday or Friday. And other classes are taught on a half day schedule. So you'll be taught weekly for three hour sh sessions. Um, we find this is really effective for particularly for postgraduate students who are trying to balance other responsibilities. Um, the teaching is you come out to Jordanstown to our teaching room and you'll have a dedicated period of teaching and study. So what will you study on our masters? Well, depending on your course of choice, uh, you you will engage in some in some degree to with studying international human rights, transitional justice, and gender and conflict. We have core modules that address each of those three issues. So we have a core module on foundations of human rights, a core module on foundations of transitional justice, and core modules on gender and human rights and gender and transition and conflict. In addition, we have a series of elective modules that you can take, and those have further specialisms within the broad themes of human rights, transitional justice, and gender. So for example, you can take a module in international humanitarian law, economic and social rights, memory. So that allows you to develop the interests that you've, uh, that you, that allows you to develop the interests, that allows you to learn more about the specific areas of interest that you developed really at the start of the program. You can then deepen them um, through the second semester. You'll also ultimately, after once you complete the taught modules, you'll then move into our dissertation program. And for the dissertation, you'll have an opportunity to conduct an independent piece of research with close supportive supervision from a member of staff in a particular area of your interest. So whatever has really captured your interest uh, through the teaching modules, you'll then be able to develop through an independent piece of research, which is invaluable in terms of gaining knowledge and skills and experience, and indeed setting you up then for next steps in terms of uh, the area you'd like to work or perhaps do PhD research in uh, once you finish the master's. The master's is multidisciplinary. Uh, the TJI is made up of lawyers, international lawyers, but also political scientists, sociologists, women's studies experts. Um, really, across, really the membership of the TJI comes across, from across the social sciences. Um, and likewise, we recruit to the master's programs from across the social sciences. So probably fewer than half of our students come from law backgrounds. Many students are coming from politics, sociology, women's studies, criminology, criminal justice. And the classroom and the learning environment really benefits from that sort of diverse experiences and diverse backgrounds. And we will very much focus on making sure that in the first semester, you are all up to speed in terms of requisite skills in human rights research and teaching and understanding, um, and then with the ability to specialize further after that. So even without law degrees, our students do graduate with strong research skills in human rights law. And that speaks really to the question of transferable skills that we focus on throughout the degree. So certainly you'll have strong analytical skills. Um, the assessment for the master's program is entirely by coursework. So whether it be 4,000 word essays, 8,000 word essays, or indeed the long, longer dissertation, which is 15,000 words. There's a huge emphasis on writing skills, uh, the ability to write clearly, competently, persuasively, effectively using evidence. All of those really important skills, really for any future profession, um, are emphasized and supported and developed very consciously through the master's program. Students will also be expected to do some amount of oral presentations, uh, mo most courses provide for unassessed oral presentations at some stage uh, through, the, through the modules. And, and indeed, because of the seminar format of the teaching, um, students are expected to contribute and to speak through, throughout the class. Um, much of that will depend on teamwork. Um, and the classroom is itself typically very diverse. We have students from all over the world, from Northern Ireland, uh, the Republic of Ireland, across the UK, across mainland Europe, the United States, Latin America, Australia, Asia, Africa, Middle East. We have had students and regularly recruit students from all of all parts of the world. And that is a huge boon to the teaching environment, a huge boon to what our students learn 
um, and the relationships students make uh, for personal and professional um, value uh, going forward from the masters. If you'd like to hear more about the enthusiastic and diverse bunch of students we have, um, this video from our graduate Diana Nakawisa is a nice summary of. Hi, my name is Diana Nakawisa. I'm from Uganda and I've just graduated in my LLM in Gender, Conflict in Human Rights here at Ulster University. I had different challenges where I had attacks on a daily basis. They could attack me, strangle me like almost to death. I was sent to my aunt. My mom was very sick and all my sisters had dropped out of school. It wasn't really easy. I joined a women organization and started volunteering with them. It was a group of orphans and vulnerable children of people who are affected and infected with HIV AIDS. My mentor, he advised me, I think you really need to join university. For all the work that the Young Mothers Support Group does, I was among the winners of the Queen's Young Leaders Award. I was privileged to meet Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. It pushed me to do more. I wanted to come to the UK and start my master's here, but outside London. I didn't have finances, so I applied for scholarships. I happened to be among the winners of the Chevening Scholarship. Ulster University had this course, which had gender conflict in human rights. Having my course from the Transitional Justice Institute is also another advantage. I remember one of my tutors, she sat me down and then she's like, you know what, Diana, I want you to be open always and tell me whenever you don't understand anything. She kept on checking on me just to see if everything was okay with me. It really touched me so much and I will never forget that. She's done very well, she worked very hard here and now she has secured a three-month internship in Malaysia working for UNHCR. I had really to go further with my education. I would really love to come back to Northern Ireland for my PhD. With time to come, like I see myself making a very big impact in my community, starting up a school for girls. And this is not the end, it's just the beginning. If you'd like to hear, hear more from our inspiring students and graduates on the LLM program, you can select the link on the slide. Diana's very positive experience with us as one of our many happy and successful graduates. Um, she availed fully of our ex the experiences that we offered at TJI. So for example, we are very connected to the local community here in Northern Ireland and we can facilitate internships for students in areas of their interest in order to develop and hone professional skills and indeed to develop professional relationships that help in getting work and securing further employment. We also have a scholarship program that uh, is linked to there. The Northern Ireland Human Rights Commission sponsors a prize every year for the best dissertation to come out of our program and also we integrate a lot of practice practical and professional experience through the course. So for example, this year, working with a cohort of the gender students, uh, we submitted a response to the Northern Ireland office, uh, looking for the human rights concerns and issues in the proposed new legal framework for abortion. And that is practical advocacy experience uh, that we've mainstreamed through the course and that students can have as an output uh, once they graduate with the program. In addition to lively teaching and seminars, um, we have a very active research environment at the TJI and our LLM students are very much part of that um, research community. Um, we have several guest seminars and speakers, uh, key leaders in the field, um, practitioners and activists, um, all of whom were there to engage with our LLM students. Um, if you'd like to hear more about how we've adapted um, to our online teaching um, in response to the COVID-19 
uh, contingencies, uh, you can see more. There's a link there to hear about our teaching um, and also how we've moved our seminar series online. Um, so we now have key speakers from all over the world contributing to our dedicated research seminar series, looking at issues of gender, conflict, transitional justice. And you can access those publicly. But again, as a member of the TJI LLM program, uh, you'll have privileged access to the people giving those sessions and learning from them. Um, in terms of our alumni destinations, I think we have a very proud story to tell of the different parts of the world and different areas of influence that our students and graduates have moved into, um, such as international organizations, including the United Nations. We have students going on to do PhDs with us and at other institutions. Uh, we have students going into the community to community organizations working on issues related to their master's program and going into statutory and government organizations as well. And as Diana mentioned in her video, our graduates benefit from the reputation, the international reputation of the TJI. It is a mark of excellence and expertise um, to have a, a LLM from our program, from our institute, and uh, something that people carry with them. And we keep all of our graduates connected to us via our alumni network. And we remain very much in touch with students as they move forward um, into their professional life. If this sounds of interest, and I hope it does, uh, you can find more information at the link. Uh, you can connect to the Transitional Justice Institute there for all, our, all of our information about our activities, um, but also about our short courses and about our different master's programs. Um, please follow us on social media, keep up with what we're doing, and get in touch via our uh, website and email address. Thank you very much.